Looney Tunes is celebrating our 50th anniversary. My father, Carl Sr., opened the store in 1971, and then my brother, Jamie, and I took over the record store in the early 90s. And we're pretty happy that we've been able to hold on to a family heritage here for 50 years. All genres of music, reggae, metal, blues, jazz, all different stuff. What's your favorite? Right here, George Harrison. My dad opened the store in 1971, started selling records, and then reel-to-reels, and then 8-tracks, and then cassettes, and then we've sold CDs, and then for a little while MP3s, and now back to CDs again, and vinyl records again. It's amazing, you know, over the 50 years how so much has changed, you know, we used to sell records only in the 70s, and then no records, and now it's 50% of our business again. Uh, when I grew up, you know, I was with my dad when I was, you know, just a little kid working at his record store and my whole life all I ever wanted to do was work at my dad's record store and here we are 50 years later and me and my brother and my father are still here. Hey Headbangers, listen up, it's me, D. Snyder, and I want you to come see me at Looney Tunes on August 17th at 7 p.m. and I will sign a copy of my new album, Leave a Scar, just one, so everybody's going to have to fight for it. Just kidding, I'll sign all the copies of my new album, Leave a Scar, be there. People just think that our store is just CDs and records, but it's not. We also have a concert stage in the middle of the store where we do a lot of autograph signings. We have a lot of bands that come in and when their new album drops, they come in and play a couple of songs on our stage and then meet their fans afterwards, take pictures and do autographs. We do a lot of autograph signings and special appearances by bands. We have about 15, 20 other in-store events planned for the rest of the year. It's really the backbone of what we do, but not only do we do concerts, and sell records. So we also have CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, stickers, hats, patches, posters, concert t-shirts, body jewelry, incense, candles, just a ton of different music related items. It's really a good feeling to see kids and young people getting back into the vinyl, getting back into records. One of my favorite parts is when they, they come up and they're buying classic stuff, but when they come in and they're looking for like Dylan and The Who and The Doors and things like that, Hendrix, I mean that's to me, you know, gives me a good feeling. We love our customers there's so many people that have been coming here for so long and you know they came and then they came with their kids and now they're coming in with their grandkids it makes us feel old but it's uh, wonderful that you know everybody loves music and it's uh, a beautiful art form that we get to share together